standing here only because you made a way. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on tonight, as we get ready to go into the Word of God, bless your people on tonight. Strengthen them on tonight. Encourage them on tonight. Lift burdens on tonight. Give them a breakthrough. Give them a miracle. Give them a turnaround tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say a good amen right there. Praise God. Praise God. We serve a mighty God. So on tonight, this is what we are talking about. Jesus is alive. Can someone type those words for me? Jesus is is alive praise God we got a right to praise him and get excited come on let's put our hands together and give him praise oh come on and help me bless my God tonight hallelujah glory to Jesus glory to God hallelujah mighty God mighty God he is alive he is alive He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. Glory to God. Mighty God, mighty God. He is alive tonight. Come on. He is alive. Hey, Shantaramamando. Hallelujah. He is alive, he's alive. He's alive, he's alive. Oh, glory to God. My God, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get excited about this. He's alive, he's alive. Can somebody shout it? He's alive, he's alive. Hey, my God, my God, my God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Just give him another praise. I just feel a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a clap offering. Give him a praise on tonight. Glory to God. Come on and bless him. I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost. Come on and praise him. Come on and give him praise. Hey, come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Come on and worship him. Come on and magnify him. Come on and lift up the name of Jesus. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Hallelujah. Tell the devil he's alive. Tell the demons he's alive. Tell the warlocks. <laughs> Tell the witchcraft worker. <laughs> Tell him he's alive. Tell him he's alive. Tell him he's alive. Someone shout it. Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody shout it. Jesus is alive. Glory to God. He's alive. He's alive. Hey, I want to run. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Glory. Now watch this. So the Bible says here in the book of Matthew chapter 28, beginning at verse 1 through 10, the Bible says, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to to see the sepulchre. They were coming with their spices. They thought they were going to do the things that they normally do to the to a dead body. And these women, they had some strong faith because they knew, they knew that, that Pilate had the tomb sealed with his signet. And he, he, no one was crazy enough to break that seal because if you break that seal, I mean, that's a suicide mission. They would execute 
shoot you. And to, to secure his tomb, they put a bunch of bodyguards around the tomb because they said, you, you know that deceiver said on the third day he is going to come back to life. And so we don't want people, we don't want his disciples to get some bright idea and come and steal the body and try to make him look like he really is the Messiah. Ah, but you can't keep the word of God bound. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and, and behold, there was a great earthquake. There was a great earthquake for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and just sat on top of the thing. My God, my God, I just dare somebody to say the tables are turning right now. The tables are turning. The tables are turning. The tables, I feel the Holy Ghost. Tell them the tables are turning. Devil, I feel the preach here. Friday, it was your time. The power, Jesus said, now is the time. I'm the power of darkness. But Good Friday is over, darling. It's resurrection morning. The devil had his time. And now God is about to have his time. Somebody shout yes. Thank God. Now watch this. So, so the Bible says here, the Bible says there was a great earthquake for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and just rolled back the stone and sat on top of it as to let everybody know, I want the world to see that this thing is empty. Jesus, he is alive. He is risen from the dead. My God, my God, death could not hold him up. The grave could not keep him up. Satan and all his cohorts could not defeat the Son of God. He is alive. He rose from the dead and he declared it all power on heaven and earth is given unto me. Somebody shout it. Jesus is alive. Tell every devil, tell every demon, tell every witchcraft worker, tell every voodoo worker, tell the old bear man, Jesus is alive and no weapon that's formed against me will be able to prosper. And every tongue that will rise against you, that will rise against me in judgment, it shall be condemned. The Bible says, because he lives, we shall live also. If the spirit of him that raised up Jesus Christ, the son of God, from the dead, if he dwells in you, he will also quicken, he will also anoint our mortal bodies. Can somebody shout, the tomb is empty, he's alive. Hey, I feel a shift. I feel the Holy Ghost. The disciples, my God, the disciples, they were still in hiding for fear of the Jews. They did not even realize what had happened. My God, the Holy Ghost breathed into the Son of God. The power of the Most High, it raised him up from the dead. And the angel rolled the stone away. Not because Jesus, not because he needed help. He rolled it away to let them know he is alive just as he said because God is not a man that he should lie not the son of man that he should have to repent if God said it he'll make it good if he spoke it he'll bring it to pass somebody saw it he's alive hey I feel the Holy Ghost I feel the Holy Ghost. Now watch this here. So the Bible says in verse 3, My God, my God. So the Bible says in verse 3, The angel came down and rolled the stone and sat on top of the thing. His 
countenance was like lightning and his clothes was white like snow. Now watch this. We still got these gods around the tomb. They're crazy. Man, they should have just took off a running. But they were too afraid. They were too afraid. The Bible says in verse 4, and for fear of the angels, the bodyguards did shake. <laughs> I'm getting excited, man. I know you're thinking, Pastor, why are you so excited? Keep in mind, Friday, the disciples were the ones shaking. It was Jesus trembling on the cross. Are you listening to me? But it's resurrection morning now. The tables have turned in your favor. The tables have turned in my favor. It's time for the devil to shake. It's time for the devil to back up. The Bible says that the bodyguards, they shook, they trembled, and they fell as dead men. They passed out. They passed out because they were so afraid. The power of God laid them out. Devil Good Friday was your time. But now it's the Son of God time. Are you listening to me? Jesus is alive. Now, somebody shout. He's alive. The tables have turned. The disciples were afraid. My God, the bodyguards were the one. I can like they were the heroes. I can like they were the big sort. I can like they had the power. But now it's resurrection morning. The crucifixion is over. It's resurrection time. Upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Coronavirus can't prevail against it. AIDS can't prevail against it. Cancer can't prevail against it. Somebody shout it. He's alive. Hey, he's alive. My God, my God, my God. He's alive. What's here? So the, the bodyguards, they shook and they became as dead men because now the tables have turned. Glory to God. And the angel answered, watch this now. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, my God, my God. For I know that you are looking for Jesus that was crucified. He is not here. <laughs> he is not here. For he is risen as he said. Come and see the place where the Lord did lay. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And he will go before you into Galilee. There shall you see him, my God, my God. The Bible says in verse 9, the Bible says in verse 8, they departed quickly for great joy and they ran to bring the disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met the women on the way. You better leave them women alone in the church. Glory to God. I say you better don't mess with the women in the church. You better not try to hinder them and hold them back because Jesus met the women. My God, and said, all hail. And they came and they held him by his feet and they worship him and Jesus said unto, unto them be not afraid but go tell my brethren that they need to go into Galilee and there shall they see me the first set of people were to carry the good news that Jesus was alive it was the women somebody shout it was the women Jesus told the women to go and tell the apostles, the leaders in the church, that Jesus is alive. Don't tell me a woman can't preach the gospel when Jesus himself gave them the news to go and tell the apostles, tell them Jesus is alive. What is the gospel? What is the good news? The good news is that he was crucified and he rose again 
hear them. I feel like preaching to you right now. Don't let nobody tell you that God can't use you. Jesus said it out of his own mouth. Go tell my apostles that I'm alive. Come on, women. Give him praise that he didn't count you out. It was in the garden that women lost their rights to that old deceiver, that old liar, that old trickster called Satan, that old liar called the devil, the accuser of the brethren. But Jesus, he gave it. He gave it back to them. He gave the women back their right that the devil stole from them. He gave it back to them. When he rose from the dead, he said, go tell my brethren that I'm alive. Shout. Hey, I want to run out. I want to run in this studio. I want to run around. Someone shout it. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He is risen from the dead. And he is alive. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. The devil was moving the Pharisees during the crucifixion. The devil was moving on them to tempt Jesus. But now that he is out the grave with all power in his hands, where is the devil now? Can somebody, someone shout it, say, where is the devil? Where is he? Jesus is out of the tomb with all power in his hands. He defeated hell. He defeated death. He defeated the grave. He defeated Satan. He took the keys from the devil, from death, from hell, and from the grave. He said, I am he that was dead. And behold, I'm alive forevermore. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and I'm going to be with you even unto the end of this world. Somebody shout, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He is alive. He is alive. Somebody praise him. Somebody shout it. He is alive. He is alive. Hey, he is alive. My God, my God, my God, my God. Shandala Babasata. My God, my God, my God. And the Bible says the disciples were locked away. They were in a room, shut in, hiding. The women told the apostles that they saw Jesus. They, the women sounded like they were talking out of their heads. The Bible says it seems to the apostles as it was a bunch of idle tales. They didn't believe the women. <laughs> Sounds like today. They still don't believe the women. But whilst they were there, locked in the room, Jesus walked through the walls. My God, my God, let me jump down into Luke chapter 24. My God, my God, my God, my God. Luke chapter 24. Verse 35, and they told what things were done in the way. Verse 35 through 53. And how he was known of them in the breaking of bread. And as they thus spoke, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified. They were terrified and afraid and afraid. They were frightened. And suppose that they had seen a ghost or spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? Why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me, touch me, and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see me have. Watch this. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy, and wondered, he said unto them, do you have something here to eat? 
<laughs> wow, what we can do in a glorified body. He said, do you have something here to eat? Because he's trying to calm them down. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures and said unto them thus it is written and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem and you are witnesses of these things and behold I send the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high and he led them out as far as to Bethany and he lifted up his hands and blessed them and it came to pass while he blessed them he was parted from them and carried up into heaven and they worship him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God Jesus he is alive after he was raised from the dead he spent 40 days and 40 nights that's five and a half to six weeks he spent 40 days and 40 nights with his apostles teaching them and explaining to them the things concerning the kingdom of God we're here to tell you tonight Jesus is alive come on somebody lift your hands to heaven Jesus is alive the anthem my God hallelujah my God my God you have won the victory sing it to him church the hallelujah Hallelujah, you want it all for me. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen. You are the risen King. Seated, seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Come on, sing it to him on tonight. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you. Listen, I want to say this to you saints. Be encouraged. Jesus is alive. He declared it all powers given to me in heaven and on earth. He is the all-powerful God. The Apostle Paul said, Christ in you, the hope of glory. He lives in you through the Holy Ghost that lives on the inside of you. Jesus is alive. And at the same time, he's seated at the right hand of God. He is alive, saints. The grave is empty. The tomb is still there in Jerusalem. It's empty. He's not there. He is alive. The apostles saw him with their own eyes for 40 days and 40 nights. They watched him go back up into heaven in the clouds. They watched it happen just like Elisha saw God took Elijah. They watched this with their own eyes. This is their own account of what took place. I believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is alive and soon and very soon. I surrender all soon and very soon saints he is coming again he's coming for people that are ready I want to make this call on tonight if you're tuning into this broadcast and you've not yet surrendered your life to Jesus 
it couldn't be a better time for you to get saved and make it right with God. Jesus said, repent and believe the gospel. Repent, that means turn away from sin. Make confession of your sins. Put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. I used to make that mistake and say, when God is ready, he's going to save me. But that was a trick from the enemy to, to try to keep me lost and die without repenting. But then I understood it, that I have to believe in my heart and confess with my mouth, and then I'll be saved. That's what the Bible says. You're not waiting on God. God's waiting on you. He already made provision by sending his son Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Without any further hesitation, I want you to bow your heads, you that want to surrender your life to Jesus, and pray this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me. They crucified you. They buried you in a borrowed tomb. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand. And soon and very soon, you are coming again. I repent of my sins. Forgive me. Wash me in your blood, Lord Jesus. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I make my decision tonight. From this day moving forward, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his Son, Jesus Christ. Listen, if you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart, let me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Your sins have been forgiven. Welcome into God's family. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. You are a new person in Christ. God just wiped your slate clean. He just closed that book, that old chapter of sin on your life, and he just opened a new chapter. Today is the day of a new beginning in your life. Your sins have been forgiven. Your names are now written in the Lamb's book of life. I want you to type below this video right now in the live chat, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. We want to give a shout out to you. My God, my God. Oh, to thee my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Come on. I've just surrendered my life to Christ. I want you to put it in the live chat right now. Surrender all. I surrender all. Oh, I surrender all. All to thee. All to thee, my blessed Savior. God bless you. Vandessa Daniels, God bless you. I surrender all. God bless you, Carlton. Tracy. Roxane, God bless you, Rose, God bless you, Margaret, Marion.